We can judge a person and a society by how they treat their enemy. And here we are with 16 highly violent individuals incarcerated in our temporarily repurposed reading room. It's an ethical dilemma like nothing we've dealt with before. Personally, I'd say it's more of an ethical opportunity to demonstrate to the surface dwellers and to each other what we mean when we say we're going to build a better world. Thanks, Reg. That is a positive spin to put on it. It's not a positive spin for me. It's the gosh darn truth. OK, well, uh, the fact remains we need to decide what to do with these prisoners. And that is a decision that we need to make as a collective. In a manner befitting our shared values. Yes. I think this conversation would benefit from some actual ideas. Well, you know what? The young man Woody interrogated this morning? He left an impression on me. That is the gentleman who showed me his butthole. Yes, but what I took from that is a desire to communicate, to reach out across the cultural divide. That's a spark we can work with to create a great citizen. Given our recently dwindled numbers, the most ethical solution would be to rehabilitate the prisoners and then integrate them into our vault society. To be clear, this is not a process that will happen overnight. Based on what I saw this morning, it may take years. But, but there is nothing we can't do when we set our minds to it. Yes. I can teach the Raiders Shakespeare. And when they're ready, Marlowe. I don't want to be insensitive, but I think Shakespeare might be too advanced for these people. But I would like to start with a moral framework. Kant, Mill, and, and so on. I'd be happy to teach them introductory calculus. <laughs> Is there something you'd like to say, Norm? I don't know. I don't think it's our job to help these people. They're murderers. They didn't know any better. And how could they without a formal education? Norm, buddy, the hard truth is we can't just let them go. <laughs> they have intimate knowledge of our vault security. So what do you propose we do? We can do what they would have done to us. Wow. Jeez Louise, Norm. Young Norm was just expressing a feeling. I know, I I've got anger, we all do, but I think you would agree that murdering these prisoners of ours is not under serious consideration. Hear, hear. I'm sorry. You're right. It was not my intention to question your leadership, Overseer. Thank you. All right. Sirs? Uh, sirs? Uh, may, I, may I speak with you for a moment, please? Uh, it's about the water chip. Go ahead. Oh. It, it, it's the type of thing Overseer McLean would have preferred to discuss uh, privately uh, before bringing it to the full group. Well, he's not here now, is he? Let's hear it. OK, well, uh, the water chip is destroyed. The vault only has enough water to keep our population alive for uh, two months. And, and that's not accounting for the prisoners. OK, that's fine. That's enough. Thanks, though. Uh, <laughs> OK, uh, meeting adjourned. I was also going to say meeting adjourned, so. That went well. They killed my husband. You're right, you know. If your father were here, he, he'd do the right thing.